Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Connoisseur's Conversation. Today, we're going to dive into a fragrance from the house of Frederick Marr, done by one of the best master perfumers in the game from Dominique Ropion. When it comes to the world of like niche perfumery, there are a few creations that actually create the essence of what it means to me to wear a fall fragrance, very quintessential fall. Promised by the house of Frederick Marr is one of those fragrances. It's crafted, like I said, by master perfumer Dominique Ropion, and this fragrance is a bold, smoky, aromatic journey that feels tailor-made just for the autumnal season. Uh, the crisp apple in the opening of it, the amber-like labdanum, uh, they perfectly encapsulate what it is to wear a fragrance. So in Promise, making it a quintessential choice for this month and next, I wanted to get this particular perfume journey out to you guys because the other day I touched on the fragrance Cruel Intentions and it's a Cipriol tape just like Promise is and I want you guys to see and understand what these type of fragrances do when wearing them in your particular wardrobe and what the function is. So if this sounds like the type of content you think you'll enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. Today, we're going to talk about Promise. Promise is a collection of fragrance, or from a collection of fragrances, from the House of Frederick Mall Desert Gem Collection. It's done by Dominique Ropion. It is one of the most fantastic fragrances um, from the House of Frederick Mall, in my honest opinion. So today, we're going to talk about a connoisseur's conversation. And what that conversation is going to entail is the presentation, the scent profile, the performance of the scent, and a little bit more of the nuances of how the scent conducts itself and what scenarios to wear it in. So first off, we're going to get into the presentation. So ladies and gentlemen, notably when it comes to the presentation of Frederick Maul's Promise, you have a gold foil sleeve, simply comes off, no restrictions. It has a brief on Dominique Ropion and what he wanted to achieve in trying to create the brief, um, exemplify the brief that what they asked for from the house of Frederick Maul. Has all the necessary compliance on it. Each side is printed with the Arabic printing of what Promise is and the translation. Of course, like I said, the gold foil sleeve has everything with compliance on the side. So it's a nice foil sleeve with red inlay on the inside. You then have the hard cardboard box flap pull type of style. And it sits inside of a um, die cut foil or die cut uh, foam with the foil background. The bottle that I have owned is the 50 ml Eau de Parfum. And it has one of the best particular atomizers. You know these brands have terrific atomizers. So here's the uh, scent and the atomizer. Very billowing. Um, so the packaging overall, with the way that the house makes its fragrances and the way that it makes its um, universal style of presentation, that's one of continuity, one with great atomizer, and one with clear writing. Very nicely done, very elegant pre presentation. So I overall, I give this a nice presentation um, when it comes to Frederick Moore. Also has some of the compliance and the names on the bottom of it. Now, this is a different take on what it was when it first came out. When it first came out, it didn't have the actual promise spelled out on it. It was just the name with the Arabic. So this is the second iteration of this particular bottle presentation. Overall, that's the presentation for Frederick Moore's promise. So next up, let's talk about the scent profile of Promise. The one thing about Promise is when Dominique Ropion represents um, and gives his best effort, it, it's exemplary in the way this perfume comes off. It's ambergris, pink pepper, rosemary, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, Cipriol, and labdanum. Perfect combination for fall wear. Very, very thick and entouse style of fragrance. It's one that opens with the most beautiful effervescent, perfectly blended and ripe tart green apple. The freshness immediately grabs you in your attention. That's the one thing about the opening of this. It's a bright and vibrant note that becomes crisp. It's also, it's a maker of elements that come to the fresher side. And that's the one thing about this particular perfume that opens up such beautifully. It's refreshing. It evokes like a, 
um, a crisp autumn morning while also alleviating to the fruitiness of a fragrance. And that's one thing that we love when the opening is that beautiful. So the green apple in this one is one that evokes, like I said, a freshness, a tartness, while also having some components of an aromatic rosemary inside of it. The rosemary is what touches off into the herbal aromatics of this particular scent. And so as you see that this particular scent has two things going forward in the opening, you can just see how the actual evolution of this particular aroma is gonna go on the skin. The apple, rosemary, pink pepper, so it's bright, it's lively, it's aromatic, it's um, a very great opening when it comes to fall fragrances that do not have a lot of warm spices to them. This is a very good connotation to a spring fragrance that has a lot of depth and character to it. So at the end of the day, with the way the opening comes about on this particular scent, you have um, a great way to cut through the richness of the smoky labdanum and smoky cypriol with that opening because then what you have going into it is the uh, rich labdanum which conjures like this beautiful effect of sweet warm balsams but it's not something that you would think is overly resinous or overly uh, essentially thought of as oriental the labdanum is this is a carrying note that makes the profile of promise so beautiful it's slightly leathery it provides a sensual depth with what i would call um the pairing of cypriol and labdanum in this particular scent the green freshness from the apple begins to fade the resinous core that is promised begins to create its long lasting power on your skin with the ability to evoke hours and hours of tranquility smelling rose and cypriol the smokiness is revealing of a different faucet from the complexity of the opening, which is the rosemary and the fresh apple. And it makes it one of those scents that you really become um, known for if you wear it often enough as a beautiful signature scent for your skin type. Um, it's one that I find once it goes into its smoky Cypriol facet, the scent is it just begins to just do this dance on your skin with the earthiness qualities of it. The Cypriol, also known as Nargamoth, that comes forward. The ingredient gives this fragrance a deep, rich smokiness. Along with the bright apple, just comes to it, giving you imagination of a burning wooded forest with crisp apples underneath it. And so I know in that actual resinous labdanum as well. So it starts to get this touch of mystery to a fragrance that you want to have as a fall winter wear fragrance when going into elegance and evening wear. The, when it comes to late night wear, you can stroll down the street and this particular scent will be the attraction. This particular smell will be the attraction. It's gorgeous wearing on the skin because of those bright uplifting openings that become veiled by the smoky Cypriol, sticky sweet labdanum, and the Nargamotha slash no, we're well not the Nargamotha, but the actual Ambergris Ambroxan. So it's earthy, it's resinous, it's sweet, it's smoky. End of the day, it's one of those fragrances that really has a calling card for fall and autumn. When you want to smell sexy, when you want to smell just dignified and distinguished, non-flirtatious, but dignified and distinguished, the scent of Promise is just that for you. It's lingering on the skin with the smokiness, very resinous, very sweet when it comes to the pink pepper tart style of sweetness. It's not something that's gourmand sweet. It's sweet from that tart apple and rose. Very, very essential fragrance to have in your collection for the fall winter uh, seasons. So that's the scent profile of Promise by Frederick Mall. Like I stated too, when it comes to the layering dynamic, the evolution on the skin, the experience that you get from Frederick Mall is always one that is quality. That's the one thing about this one. Quality, Dominic Robillon, he pins fragrances that are quality and there's, here is no slouch. It's a um, apple, like I said, the apple fades to the Cypriol, the labdanum, which takes center stage at the mid. The smoky resinous notes always come clear and clean. Hours into the wear, the rosemary adds a refreshing counterpoint to that um, apple, and veiling of the labdanum cypriol accords with the rose 
Promise begins to get dynamic with each note revealing itself as a different moment of the consuming of the fragrance. So it becomes sweet, warm, smoky, back to the tartness, and it keeps revolving around these notes which become ever evolving on the skin and creates that layering dynamic, like I said. The dry down of Promise is where the labdanum really shines for you. It leaves a warm, resinous trail on the skin with a soft, ambery light glow that lingers for hours and hours and hours on the end. Even at the end of the day, the scent which represents you the best is that subtly sweet revealing faucet of cypriol and labdanum. So that's one thing about this component of uh, fragrances I love during this time of year is the evolution on skin where it really becomes sexy, quality fragrances which you want and that rose is one that brings people in with the lure and attraction. So that is the actual evolution on skin for Promise by Frederick Maul. When we begin to take a, a note on performance of these particular scents, the longevity and sillage of for Frederick Maul Fragrances is one of the very best that I come to think of. Musk Ravageur, Monsoor, Portrait of a Lady, Promise, all the four that I have in my collection, uh, out in not side decant form, but in bottle form. I've always been impressed with what it does as a performance inducing fragrance from the house. They always have quality for performance. I have not had a fragrance from this house that has not had great quality. One of the most impressive aspects of Promise is its performance. This is a fragrance with performing with incredible longevity, lasting about eight to 10 hours on the skin and even longer when you spray it on your clothes. The scent have a powerful, powerful sea eyes that projects well into the first few hours before settling into a nice muted scent on the skin, but it's nothing that's demure. It's very enveloping and cloud-based amongst the skin, so the aura around you is very well. Um, it's a fragrance that will be noticed for its power in the beginning, but also it's striking perfect balance between its presence and subtle subtlety and so when you have a, a fragrance like that it has this sense of being where you were and I love that about a Siage trail when you leave a fragrance where you were and it's nice and pleasant it leaves people lingering around the areas and then attracting themselves to you the better part and stages of this wear of promise remains noticeable because the smoky resonance notes linger in the skin like a, um, a comforting next second kin to skin it's a fragrance that evolves slowly it reveals layer upon layer upon time upon time and making it a joyful experience from start to finish for me and that's one thing i love about promise as well because dominic ropion loves to do that with his fragrances and when you have skincare regimen and you spray this particular scent on you will see the ever evolving like evolution on skin unpredictably sometimes the way you spray it on because sometimes I've worn this particular scent is come off tart and tartness of the apple conduces itself around that aromatic touch of rosemary while leaving off the rose sometime and that's the thing about this one because it has two rose components meaning the promise of the two conjoining roses I didn't actually notify you guys of that one the brief was to notify you that he was promising everlasting love with the conjoining promise of the Bulgarian and Turkish roles in this one, representing the man and wife um, in Arabic. So that's one thing that's a note to contribute to the fragrance as well, is what he was trying to achieve as a beautiful fragrance for the man and woman to enjoy together on a love and compassion day. Um, so at the end of the day, from start to finish, the joyous experience that you get is one of continuity, joyful, love, cherishing, and that is the actual performance for the scent promise from Frederick Maul. Ladies and gentlemen, so what I want to touch on next, when it comes to the perfume done by Dominique Ropion, promise, there's a note called Cypriol or Nargamatha, which I really enjoy. I went through my collection when thinking about what I wanted to talk about today and bring out as a kind of switch conversation today. Promise is a scent, as you've noted in this particular review, it's full of Cypriol oil. Cypriol and Nargamatha can really bring itself to... Uh, be an evaluative uh, contribution to smell like oud accords. It's noted everywhere. You'll see that whenever you talk about Cypriol fragrances where it brings out the notation or connotation of what oud oil can smell like for some. That dark, rich, just exuberant richness of oud can come off like Cypriol or Cypriol can come off like that. So for me, I want to introduce you guys to a few fragrances before I get off of this review, including Cypriol from uh, Dominique Ropion's Promise, which you've just heard about. I want to introduce you to three more fragrances. And these are fragrances if you want to see what the note of Cypriol smells of and or would like to see what a nice package of 
uh, samples to get for Cipriol. I have four for you here that I think are exemplary. So first off, promise you just heard about that. Second, the fragrance of Journeyman from the House of Amwash. This one is a very sweet take on Cipriol oil with a Szechuan pepper and a magnificently done Cipriol oil with pink pepper and tobacco. This is a fragrance done by two master perfumers, Alberto Morales and Pierre Negrin. This is the first fragrance that really got me into what Cipriol does. I have a fragrance here on this list that you just heard about this week that has Cipriol in it, but it did not register what Cipriol was because it was the first. When I became notified that this was the note, this is when I became in love with it through Journeyman. Sweet, very resinous, very spicy, very masculine. Another one that's distinguished just like Promise is. Masculine, masculine, masculine. When it comes to fragrances from the house of Amouage, and you're introducing yourself to fragrances that want to be um, laden in tobacco, the first one to go to is Journeyman. Second one is Royal Tobacco. When you smell what Journeyman does for you, you're going to be in love with it because of the heavy, resinous, spicy, peppery kick from it with this very warming sweetness that carries throughout the fragrance from tobacco. So second on the list of Cipriol fragrances I want you guys to try out from samples is Journeyman from the House of Amouage. Next up, gentlemen, I want you to pay close attention to Late and Exclusive. Late and Exclusive is a very well composed Oud Cipriol addition to the notes structure of Layton. It carries more rose, it carries more vanilla and ambery takes, but the mandarin, the lavender, the pink pepper and the vanilla is there. What beautiful scent, man. I had to stop and just take a sniff. Beautiful scent. What you get from this one, juxtaposed from the Journeyman and Rose of Promise, you get this more live, more effervescent, more um, actually a mass appealing take on what Cipriol oil can do. It is apparent when you smell latent versus latent exclusive, you have to sample this fragrance first because it is very apparent. It's a stark line in differentiating the original from this one. It's very dark, very smoky, very woody. It complements the war, um, the warm essential note of Cipriol and the beauty of rose and vanilla. This one a lot more than it does in latent original. At the end of the day, it's a very sweet, woody, masculine fragrance that has a lot of aromatics and the take of resinous, warm, inviting Cipriol oil. So this is the third one in the line of Cipriol fragrances I think you guys should get your nose on. Latent Exclusive is a beautiful blend done by um, the same guy that did Altair, Kashani. A beautiful scent, man. It's one, and that's the thing about Cipriol oil as well. If you get into it, you're going to notice that it's one of those, when they add fragrances or fragrance notes like Cipriol, it's going to be an ever-evolving fragrance because Cipriol oil, it goes on just dark, heavy, but it smooths out so well across the fragrance and it veils the other notes over it while never being so opaque. It, it has a transparency to it, but it leaves that smoky trail to you. So if you're looking to be mysterious, if you're looking to be intriguing, find you something with Cipriol oil and you're going to be astonished at what it does for you. So third up on the list, try out, sample, late and exclusive. You won't be disappointed if you're looking for something with a dark, smoky mysteriousness to it. Great fragrance. And so, ladies and gentlemen, last on the list, I talked to you guys about the scent of Cruel Intentions earlier this week. Cruel Intentions is a beautiful Cipriol fragrance that has some of the best components of a watery rose to it that just comes off and gets the feminine nose attracted to you. I stated this is a great fragrance for date nights, and that's just what it is. Women love the way that this particular scent comes off the skin. It's green. It's a watery rose. It's nice and effervescent. While tailoring off into that warm Cipriol oil. Sexy, sexy, inviting, elegant, evening, night out, soiree, anything that's more elevated, this is the one to go to for you. Sexy as all hell when it comes to the, the invitation of being in a black tie event. So that's the fourth one on the list. Check out the notes and structure of Cruel Intentions by By Killian. I don't think you'll be disappointed when going for an evening elegant wear fragrance and using the note of Cipriol inside of it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's my video for you guys today. I hope, as always, you guys found something entertaining and educational. And if you did, all that ever asked that you do, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more exciting content to come. We're going to start talking more about going into the fall. It's, of course, a lot more wines are more richer, more depthful, more complex, and that's going to be the red wines that I go to. And also, we're going to talk more about cigars. So if you guys are brothers of the leaf, today I am going to be smoking the Placencia Reserva Original. You guys are up on that. That's a nicely done um, mid, mid to you know mild body cigar. It's really a day um, where you want to sit back and drink a white wine and just relax on the patio where the sun is shining in the fall. This is a spectacular style of cigar to smoke. So I'm going to smoke this today and then give you a brief review on this one. This is the second one of the pack. The first one has been going down. Um, and so I'm going to smoke this one and then the third one I'm going to bring to you in presentation form to show you what it was and talk about this briefness uh, on that particular scent profile or cigar profile when it comes to scents and cigars and wines of the dry down. So look forward to that coming soon. This is Placencia's Reserva Original. I'll be having a conversation with you guys about coming soon. As I always state, you guys have a blessed day, blessed weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.